everyone, my name is Miss Gabby. Welcome to Family Storytime at the Calusa Library. So, it's June, it's hot, and it's getting hotter. What is your favorite thing to eat on a hot summer day? My favorite is definitely ice cream. So today we're going to be reading Simply Delicious by Margaret Mayhe and drawings by Jonathan Allen. Oh, that looks like a pretty good ice cream and a fun adventure. <laughs> Let's get started. One evening as he rode home on his faithful bike, Mr. Minky stopped at Muffin's Corner Shop and bought a double dip chocolate chip and cherry chunk ice cream with rainbow twinkles and chopped nuts sprinkles for his little boy Finnegan. Now, how will I get this double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream home before it melts, he wondered. I know, I'll take a shortcut down the lumpy, bumpy jungle track. It runs into my back garden. Do you think that's a good idea? I'm not so sure. Mm. Mr. Minky bounded onto his bike and shot off along the jungle track. Giant bamboos arched over his head. Leaves as large as dinner plates brushed against his busy bicycling knees. Mr. Minky lifted the ice cream high into the air to keep it safe and waved it around to keep it cool. Two butterflies sipping honey from a rare orchid saw the ice cream lumping and bumping along below them. Uh-oh, I sense trouble. Oh, there are the butterflies. I like the look of that double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream with rainbow twinkles and chopped nut sprinkles, one butterfly said to the other. Simply delicious, the other replied. Off they fluttered at bicycle speed, hovering over the ice cream and trying to land on it. Mr. Minky began swinging the double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream in circles, hoping to baffle the butterflies while keeping the ice cream cool. A toucan, perched on a swaying bamboo, saw the ice cream bumping along the track below. Uh-oh, it looks like the ice cream is attracting all sorts of animals. Yikes. I love the look of that double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream with rainbow twinkles and chopped nut sprinkles, tweedled the toucan. Simply delicious. And it dived and darted at the ice cream. <gasps> Mr. Minky, biking hard, swept his left hand down and held the double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream at knee level waving it in circles to baffle the butterflies, taunt the toucan, and keep the ice cream cool. The butterflies fluttered, the toucan dived, and Mr. Minky bounced up and down and up and down and up and down as he biked along the lumpy, bumpy jungle track. Ooh, maybe some more animals are going to see that ice cream and follow him. Oh, wow, it's a monkey! A spider monkey, oh, spider monkey. A spider monkey peering up from under the creeper saw the ice cream lumping and bumping by only inches from its nose. I love the look of that double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream with rainbow twinkles and chopped nut sprinkles, said the spider monkey. Simply delicious. And down it swooped to the ice cream. <gasps> Do you think he let it go yet? Oh, it's gonna be tough. All of those animals after him? Mm -mm. <gasps> wow. Mr. Minky whipped the ice cream up once more, holding it straight out in front of him. Then he waved it up and down to baffle the butterflies, taunt the toucan, not muddle the monkey, and keep the ice cream cool. I'm surprised it hasn't melted yet. <laughs> the butterflies fluttered, the toucan dived, the monkey swooped, and Mr. Minky bounced up and down and up and down as he biked along the lumpy, bumpy jungle track. Oh, <gasps> a tiger! 
A ferocious tiger, glowering in its lair, saw the ice cream speeding by. I like the look of that double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream with rainbow twinkles and chopped nut sprinkles, snarled the, sp the tiger. Simply delicious, and it's spring at the ice cream. <gasps> wow, so now he has the butterflies, the toucan, the spider monkey, and the tiger after him for the ice cream. How is he going to keep it? Uh, at bay, how is he going to keep it away from them? How is he going to keep it from melting? But Mr. Minky quickly tossed it from his left hand to his right. Whoa. Catching it in midair, holding it at arm's length, he swung it from side to side, hoping to baffle the butterflies, taunt the toucan, muddle the monkey, trick the tiger, and keep the ice cream cool. The butterflies fluttered, the toucan dived, the spider minky swooped, the tiger sprang, and Mr. Minky bounced up and down and up and down as he biked along the lumpy, bumpy jungle track. Wow. Oh, this just keeps getting worse. A huge crocodile was sunning itself on the riverbank in between leaves as large as dinner plates and it saw the ice cream sweeping by. I love the look of that double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream with rainbow twinkles and chopped nut sprinkles, croaked the crocodile, simply delicious, and it lunged at the ice cream. <gasps> oh no, are they finally gonna get the ice cream? Oh wow, neat tricks. But Mr. Minky tossed the ice cream high into the air and it came down. He cleverly caught it on his toe. His toe? What? The tip on the toe. Kicked it up into the air again, caught it on his elbow, flicked it high, tilted it, his head back, then caught it once more, this time on his nose on his nose, wow. The butterflies fluttered, the toucan dived, the spider monkey swooped, the tiger sprang, the crocodile lunged, and Mr. Minky kicked right and left, keeping them at bay, bouncing up and down, up and down, while balancing the ice cream on his nose as he biked along the lumpy, bumpy jungle track. I can't believe it's on his nose and it hasn't fallen yet. Ugh, just incredible. Oh, he made it home! At last, he burst out of the jungle, shot up his home, and made a ramp and flying through the air across the back fence, glided gracefully into his back garden. Little Finnegan ran to meet him. Mr. Minky tossed his head, caught the ice cream as it flew through the air, and held it out to Finnegan. He made it and his son is gonna eat the ice cream. Wow, he made it. Oh no. Seeing the double dip chocolate chip and cherry ice cream with rainbow twinkles and chopped nut sprinkles, Finnegan shouted with happiness. He swept his tongue across it in grand style. Simply delicious, he yelled. I feel quite hungry myself, said Mr. Minky, smiling at Finnegan's joy. Hungry! The crocodile looked at the tiger and licked his lips. The tiger looked at the spider monkey and licked his lips. His lips. The spider monkey looked at the toucan and licked his lips. The toucan looked at the butterflies and clicked his beak. Oh no, what's going to happen? Simply delicious, they cried and began chasing one another back through the jungle along the lumpy, bumpy track. Mr. Minky put his bike in the shed and went into dinner. Spicy pie and scrumptious pudding. Oh, wow, they forgot about the ice cream and now they're chasing each other. Simply delicious. Oh, his son got to have a delicious ice cream and he gets to have some delicious pie. Aww. Well, that's the end of our story. 
I can't believe that Mr. Minky rode through the jungle on his bike and that he didn't spill the ice cream even though all of those animals were after it. Still can't believe it. <laughs> well, make sure to look at the questions and the activities that we've published along with the video. Thank you for listening. Until next time.